as Kamloops cafes and restaurants begin operating again, staff and owners have reported an increase of rude reactions from customers about physical distancing rules. We took it to the streets to find out how you would react if you saw someone being rude to a staff member at a restaurant. Excuse me, I need my space. Uh, especially with things that are going on right now, uh, it would be really great for you to just take a step back, just be mindful. I don't know, I think that everybody should be respectful of what anybody's comfortable with, whether it's a staff member or, you know, a friends or family, right? Um, I don't think it should matter whether they're in a service-based position or not. I think it's, it comes down to human-to-human -human contact and the respect that we have for each other instead of you're serving me sort of yeah. a thing, right? Yeah. Um, I think how I'd react, obviously I'd feel bad for the server. Um, I obviously, I don't think I'd interject um, and say anything, but when the server came and served me after, I normally, if I do hear people being rude, I normally crack a joke or I like apologize on behalf of them um, and just kind of try to make them feel better and because they obviously, it's, yeah. it's shitty serving. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah. It's bad. <laughs> it's bad serving rude customers. Yeah. So yeah. try to make it better for the server. Yeah. Really. Uh, I'm a very passive person, so I'd probably not do anything. I'd just walk away. <laughs> I get stressed in those situations. Oh, I speak out. Um, that's that's just what I do, but um, it's not acceptable in any form or any location. It doesn't matter whether it's restaurants or offices or anything else. It's it's something that has to be said. I would probably say something to the customer because I think that's terrible. I'd say there's a line because there's like a certain amount of rudeness that a normal person's gonna have, but at the same time, if you're gonna be a huge dick, just stay home. So I mean, you being there is a privilege, and if you're not gonna enjoy to make it a good space for everyone, you shouldn't be there. Robert Stodola, owner of Senior Froggies, says that signs and media attention have helped, but the problem is still happening. For Castanet Camloops, I'm Amanda Lee Melitario.